Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Queen Elizabeth, A Day in Her Life. The other week, uh, Queen Elizabeth's great friend and lady-in-waiting, Lady Susan Hussey, was chastised for being a racist by a lady named Nagosi Fulani, which really isn't her real name. It is Marlene Headley. She also was affiliated with uh, Black Lives Matter, which makes one question just what she was trying to do that night of the what I'll call the incident. And I'm on the side of a lot of people that think Lady Hussey uh, meant no harm. So it got me thinking, who is Lady Hussey, and how did she and Queen Elizabeth become close friends? First up, we have, um, what what is a lady-in-waiting? And according to graciadaily.co.uk, lady-in-waiting is the name given to the important women who have surround the queen and make up her inner circle. Ladies-in-waiting to the queen or queen consort have existed for hundreds of years, and their symbolic titles haven't changed much in that time. A woman of the bedchamber helps the queen or other nobles with things like dressing and washing. The mistress of the robes is a more senior role that's primarily concerned with picking out outfits. As well as their official positions, ladies-in-waiting will usually accompany the queen on state business or social engagements as part of the entourage. Uh, And then they have one trusted lady-in-waiting. So uh, that lady for the Queen Elizabeth uh, was Lady Susan Hussey, and Miss. Lady Hussey even accompanied the Queen to Prince Philip's funeral for support. Historically, being appointed a lady-in-waiting is considered a great honor, and with the honors, usually going to friends, families, and daughters of noblemen and women. As centuries gone by, it is still a lifelong appointment. You can't quit or retire from being a lady-in-waiting, and the role is unpaid. Susan began her job in 1960. When Queen Elizabeth had Prince Andrew in 1960, she got uh, Susan Hussey to be her woman of the bedchamber. When Queen Elizabeth needed help with all the letters she was receiving after the birth of Andrew, um, she became close to the Queen and became good at in- introducing newcomers to the royal ways. According to Tatler.com, she was reportedly known within Her Majesty's household as the number one head girl and had been described as one of the key trusted figures who helped the monarch in her later life. Uh, their closeness was clear when Lady Susan accompanied the Queen to the funeral of the Duke of Edinburgh following his death at age 99. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, there were only 30 mourners in attendance and the Queen was forced to sit alone, but Lady Susan was by her side for the journey to the event. In what events was Lady Susan a part of? Uh, Lady Susan Hussey accompanied Pippa Middleton to church at San- Sandringham in, ni- I mean, in 2017 um, or greeted incoming and outgoing prime ministers during their trips to the palace. As part of the royal household since 1960, she was a regular in the court circular and often represented the late queen at funerals and events when the monarch had obligations elsewhere. With other members of the royal household, Hussey attended the state funeral of Queen Elizabeth II on the 19th of September, 2022, and following the Queen's death, she was made Lady of the Household, along with the late Queen's other ladies-in-waiting, and was responsible for assisting at events held at Buckingham Palace. Uh, What awards did she receive? On top of her grand, our Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order, which she was awarded in the Queen's 2013 birthday honors. She also received the Queen Elizabeth II's version of the Royal Household Long and Faithful Service Medal with 30, 40, 50, and 60-year bars. She never received money for her position, and she continued to support the Queen out of her loyalty for her. According to Tatler.com, when the late Queen was still traveling the globe in her role as head of state, Lady Susan was by her side, And in the office, she was one of the members of the team that answered the numerous letters sent to the monarch. Um, Following the Queen's death, she was made the Lady of the Household by King Charles III in recognition of her long-standing service to his mother. And this was three days before the incident. So Susan Hussey Beginnings, according to TheGuardian.com, Lady Susan was born in 1939 and was the fifth and the youngest daughter of the 12th Earl Waldegrave and Mary Hermione Countess Waldegrave. She's the sister of the former conservative cabinet minister, William Waldegrave. 
On the 25th of April, 1959, she married Marmaduke Hussey, later chairman of the board of the governors of the BBC, and they had two children, James Arthur, born in 1961, and Catherine Elizabeth, born in 1964. And Susan helped Meghan Markle, according to page6.com. According to page6.com, Lady Susan, whose character was featured in the season five of the Netflix The Crown, was so well thought of that the Queen asked her to give Markle lessons in royal life. She even accompanied Markle and the monarch on their first joint engagement to Cheshire back in June 2018, a source said. Uh, the royals were used to Lady Susan being at the palace. William and Harry are used to Lady Susan being around, said another well-placed royal insider. She was so close to the family that King Charles appointed her as one of William's godmothers, and Harry and Meghan were fond of her. Uh, Charles even asked her to stay on at the palace following the death of Queen Elizabeth in September, and Hussey's daughter, Lady Catherine Brooke, was announced as one of Camilla's six new aides over the weekend after the Queen Consort scrapped the traditional title, Ladies in Waiting. Well, it seems like Lady Hussey was taken the wrong way by Fulani. There were a lot of supporters for, from YouTube regarding the Lady Hussey incident. People of the same race or a different race from Ngozi Fulani state that they were asked the question all the time, and it was a way of starting a conversation. So there doesn't seem to be anything racist about it. And in the first place, it seemed like uh, Ngozi went to the event with a tape recorder, and who does that? It seemed like uh, she was there expecting something to happen. So here is what she said happened during the encounter. So Lady uh, Hussey asked her, where are you from? And Falani says, sister space. And Lady says, uh, no, where do you come from? And then Miss Falani says, we're based in Hackney. And Lady Hussey said, no, what part of Africa are you from? And Miss Falani says, I don't know. They didn't have leave any records. So then Lady Hussey said, well, you must know where you're from. I spent time in France. Where are you from? And Miss Falani said, oh, here in the UK. And then Lady Hussey said, no, but what nationality are you? And then Miss Falani said, I'm born here and I'm British. And she said, uh, Lady Hussey said, no, where do you really come from? Where do your people come from? And Miss Falani said, my people, lady, what is this? And then Lady Hussey said, oh, I can see I'm going to have a challenge getting you to say where you're from. Where did you first come from here? And then Miss Falani said, lady, I'm a British national, and my parents came here in the 1950s when, and then Lady Hussey said, oh, I knew we'd get there in the end. You're Caribbean. And then Miss Falani said, no, lady, I'm of African heritage, Caribbean descent, and British nationality. And then Lady Hussey said, oh, so you're from, and then it, and it dropped off then. But it seemed like Falani was trying to be elusive by not giving a simple answer to the question. Uh, she could have started out by saying she was born in England and had parents who were Caribbean, but she seemed like she was trying to be evasive for some strange reason. Uh, too bad Lady Hussey was so patient with her and didn't just go on to another guest when she wasn't getting any warm conversation from Filani. If Queen Elizabeth were still alive, I bet she would have defended her friend and not have been under the pressure from the woke masses. Another YouTuber suggested that when Lady Hussey said might have been a little rude, if you were a sensitive type, but it re wasn't really what you would call racism. So I think if Queen Elizabeth had still been around, this incident never would have taken place. I'm going to provide some links t from the YouTube videos I saw that supported Lady Hussey, and... Uh, They'll be in the uh, description that's below the video under the sources category. So I hope everybody's been having a good day. And if you like the video, if you could give it a thumbs up or would subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And tune in again soon for another episode of Queen Elizabeth, A Day in Her Life. Thank you. Bye.